Recently, Jason Derulo and BTS collaborated to remix the hit song Savage Love, which became a huge hit, even topping Hot 100's list. However, Derulo went under fire for not giving BTS the proper credit they deserved. In a video he posted on Instagram, he tagged several people as celebrated the victory but never the boys. Savage Love going number one on the Billboard chart. Woo! Cheers to everybody in the building. So the ruler tried to do some damage control, making another tweet mentioning BTS. It was already too late. The Jason Derulo is over party hashtag started trending on Twitter. But it didn't stop there. Later on, BTS has gone on an unfollowing spree, eliminating 13 accounts, including Jason's. While Jin is known as Worldwide Handsome, his dancing has always been the center of criticism. Haters keep on saying that BTS should hide Gin on their choreographies because he ruins their performance. To prove them wrong, here's J-Hope putting Jin at the center of their choreography. I'm ugly and I'm proud. In 2018, BTS had a shoot with a magazine in Los Angeles. They were met with an aggressive paparazzi, that ambushed the private event. Hey, what's up, BTS? According to Vogue, the paparazzi screamed, You're going to lose all your American fans before you even get here. The members, confused by the incident, laughed as soon as the statement was translated for them. J-Hope smiled and said, Tell him, thank you for worrying about us. Oh! John Cuk added, yeah, thank you so much. Oh! In 2015, BTS grabbed their very first twin on SBS The Show, with their hit song, I Need You, ending the one streak of a popular boy group. This album topped the music charts, even beating their senior groups in physical albums. Since BTS wasn't as popular as they are today, they were accused of chart manipulation. However, BTS did not react to this accusation. Wobbly, steady out! Four years later, the group has been topping music charts worldwide every time they release an album or just a single. Since this keeps happening, the media alleged that BTS bought copies of their song in bulk, and this time, Jin did not hold back. I want to thank you to all of you. We are really working hard to make a song. 어 다음 앨범에도 좋은 음악 들고 나타날 거고 어 많은 분들이 여기에 계신 아티스트 분들도 그렇고 뭐 정말 많은 분들이 좋은 노래를 만들고 계신데요 어.
그 노래들이 정말 다 인정받고 어, 많이 들어주는 그런 세상이 왔으면 좋겠습니다. 어, 부정적인 방법도 좋지만 어, 조금 더 어, 정직한 방법으로 어, 좋은 음악을 만드는 게 어떨까요? 어, 모두 다 좋은 음악을 하고 좋은 음악을 듣는 그런 시대가 왔으면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. When BTS got invited to a brunch for winning the Group of the Year award of a particular variety show, an American lady criticized the group for wearing makeup. After the video went viral, Jen posted his selfies with the caption, took a picture otherwise it would have been a waste of getting my makeup done. <laughs> To be honest, uh, I'm a little bit nervous to announce this next performance. Uh, to call these guys uh, international superstars honestly feels like an understatement. Making their US TV debut, make some noise for BTS! In November 2017, BTS made its US debut at the American Music Awards performing its hit title track. DNA. While this act trended worldwide, earning admiration from K-pop and Western fans, an American blogger and columnist, Perez Hilton, accused BTS of lip-syncing. The historic performance went viral, that critics kept throwing hate tweets to BTS, even after AMA, accusing them of lip-syncing during life stages. <laughs> Later that same year, BTS performed at SBS Gaio Awards. The group kicked off their medley with Mic Drop, where BTS finally shut off haters in a cool and savage way. In June 2016, Jungkook made his first solo appearance, on a variety show called, Flower Crew. Jungkook was being very polite and caring, by buying hamburgers for all the show members. However, So Jang Hun and Jo Se Ho pretended, that they didn't hear anything, while Jungkook was inviting everyone, to enjoy the food. Aside from ignoring Jungkook, Se Ho also loudly implied, that the food looked like leftovers. Kim Min Suk and Yu Vu J were trying to soothe the atmosphere by eating the hamburgers, but was stopped by Joe Seho, mocking them.
이제 박스케네 팀장님이 돼서 두 사람을 선택하게 되는데 야 민서야 너도 또 옆에서 같이 도와봐 예. 야 이거 치워라 아 이거 뭐 이렇게 자 여보세요 치워 치워 자 이게 뭐냐 이게 안돼 야널 위해서 미국에서 미국에서 살고까지 사왔는데 진짜 그냥 진심으로 구한다 안 먹은 거야? 아니 이거 진짜 민석이 Fans were genuinely enraged with the hosts for mistreating the golden mock knee. Even the big hit CEO, Bank PD, also mentioned he didn't want people to belittle the boys and want them to be recognized for their music. Since then, BTS rarely appears in any Korean variety show. Instead, they launched their own shows, both on b l a v e and YouTube, which earned millions of watchers. And after five years, BTS and Joe Seho met again. Justin Bieber, give each other company. BTS. In 2017, BTS was nominated for the Top Social Artist Award at Billboard Music Awards. While the title isn't considered as a major category, it was still a massive achievement to BTS as the only South Korean artist among all nominees in all categories. <laughs> Expectedly, haters were quick to throw judgments to the group. And the Billboard Music Award goes to... BTS! <laughs> to their surprise, BTS really did win the award with 311 million votes, breaking the record of 301 million and ending Justin Bieber's winning streak.